Hello, my friends. It's so good to see you again. I've missed you guys so much, and I apologize for not uploading in so long. I'm sorry. But I just got out of prison, actually, for a brief sentence for crypto-related tax evasion. And I'll leave it at that. I'm just kidding. I didn't go to jail. I didn't go anywhere, actually. I just... The burnout on psychedelics continues, basically. And then also something really bad happened, actually. I'm not joking this time. More news for me, and some of you guys actually too, because I know some of you loved my dad very much, seemed to like him a lot anyways. Uh, my dad died, like, three weeks ago, I guess. Yeah, something like that. And it was pretty unexpected. He was only 66. He wasn't in perfect health. He had a few things going on, like high blood pressure and all these like car accident related uh, illnesses, like vertigo and stuff. It was weird. Uh, but he wasn't like on his deathbed by any means. And uh, yeah, so he died. And if you watch the channel at all, uh, You'll probably know that my father and I were very, very close. He was like a friend and a father, you know? Um, yeah, so he died. And, uh... The coroner report hasn't come back yet. Or it has. I just had trouble getting in contact with the guy. I'm gonna call him today, but... We figure either a heart attack, a stroke, or maybe it was a reaction because he was on a lot of meds. But I don't know. Who knows? I'll find out today probably it doesn't really matter um yeah i found him i was he was in his room all day one day and he went out the night before and uh that's not abnormal because i figured he was just resting up he was hung over so i didn't talk to him all day then the next day i brought him like food at lunch and he didn't answer his door so i went into his bedroom and he was on his bed face down and his hands were blue and uh yeah i'm gonna miss him a lot uh, it's weird you know like now both my parents are gone and i sort of it's a weird feeling it's a really weird feeling, like, um, I feel like a ship without its anchor or something, like a drift or something, not connected to anything, sort of. I mean, I got other family, like my brother and sister and extended family, but something about the parents making you feel, like, anchored to something is gone that feeling is gone yeah i feel like i guess in the back of my mind and maybe a lot of people are like this i didn't realize it consciously but i feel like any reason for me to be careful about something or any thought i ever had where i really didn't want to screw something up in my, in my life like major things i feel like that feeling was somehow linked to not wanting to disappoint my parents or not let them down or hurt them in any way. Not like either of them were ever disappointed in anything I did. They were both always super supportive of everything. But I think it's just like an innate sense sort of built in. And so now I get this feeling like, oh, I can afford to be more reckless or less responsible or I can do whatever and I won't be letting anyone down which isn't totally true, but um, I just don't feel accountable to anybody at the ultimate scale. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if I'm explaining this very well, but in any case, I've recognized that and I haven't given into that feeling like I could be more reckless and it wouldn't matter. It would matter. Um, and I recognized it at least so I can avoid doing that because when I get reckless, I get really reckless. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I won't. Yeah, my father was really awesome. Like, perfect, really. As a father, he was... 
perfect. He supported me in everything I did. Uh, I could talk to him about anything and everything, and I did. Uh, you know, we could talk like father and son, and then we could talk like friends, friends, you know, best friends. We can laugh and joke about anything. I could, I could talk to him about anything, like drugs or sex or whatever, you know. It didn't matter. It didn't feel weird or anything ever. And no matter what I did, he always supported whatever I did or wanted to do. And he was at his funeral, like a lot of people spoke, and we, we sort of came to the conclusion that everybody thought they were his best friend. You know, he was like best friends with everybody. Everybody liked my father. He was more than anything funny. My dad was so funny. And all him and I ever really did when interacting with each other was try to make each other laugh. That was like our primary goal in 90% of our interactions. And every time I think of something funny, I'm like, oh, I got to tell dad that. And then I realize I can't. Or, you know, just I keep forgetting he's dead. And it's weird. It's hard to fathom. I still can't believe it. But I'm okay. I'm doing okay. I deal with death kind of, I don't know, it kind of freaks me out how I deal with it. Like, I just go numb of anything. And everyone around me is like overflowing with emotion. And I just sort of go dead inside. And I think about it and I know it's sad and I miss him a lot and I wish he was here. But I just, I don't like well up with tears, really. And it's the same with my mom. Although my father and I were a lot closer. Like I've, you know, cried here and there. But it was more like just very subtle. I don't know why that is. I think it's because I think about death a lot. Not in like an obsessive, like scared way, like I don't worry about death a lot, but I think about it a lot. Like I think about what happens or what it is or... I don't know, it's just, it sort of fascinates me in a morbid sort of way, I guess. But I think about it a lot and so when it actually happens, I think I'm sort of semi-prepared for it already. Like a predominant thought on my mind in the last few years, since COVID really, is that life is really short. Like, the last three years went by so quick. Uh, I'll hear, like, about something like an anniversary, and it'll feel like it happened, like, a year ago. But it's like, no, David Bowie died 30 years ago. And I'm like, what, 30 years? That doesn't seem right. And sure enough, it's not right. He died, like, six years ago, which is still pretty crazy. Oh, man. What I fear about death is the possibility of nothingness, of course, like everybody, but also I fear missing out. It's like the ultimate FOMO, <laughs> you know? Technology specifically, like I always, the technology's just getting good, you know? It's just starting to take off. In like 100 years, it's gonna be really crazy. But I guess it's interesting to witness the this pivotal moment too. I guess there's interesting parts about all of history and everybody in history is going to miss out on something. I just hope I don't miss out on whatever lets us upload our subconscious into robots so that we live forever. I'll probably be like a hundred years old by the time they have that and then they'll just be like, we're sorry Mr. Mulligan, you're too old. Your conscience is no good. We're gonna let you die. I, I go down as like the last person who ever died. <laughs> <clears throat> Probably something like that will happen. Um, but yeah, I just, my dad was excited about crypto and I keep thinking like, uh, he doesn't get to see how that plays out. Or maybe he does, you know, who knows? I don't know. I don't know much about anything. That's not true. I know a lot about everything pretty much. So, but I don't know much about death. I don't think anybody knows much about death. I think the only sane viewpoint is agnosticism. I think 
atheism is kind of naive and it also assumes that things happen for no reason but that to me is obviously not true like everything happens for a reason everything has a preceding action that caused it to happen so the fact that we're here isn't, isn't just like oh life and existence started once there was nothingness then one day it just spawned into existence that makes zero sense there has to be a reason we're here and I don't know if it's a good reason or a cool reason or neutral or I hope it's not evil but life is beautiful and enjoyable and so that to me makes me think that there's intent to all this this is all intentional experiencing beauty was meant to happen or maybe it's just a reward system to perpetuate us so that we learn and figure things out for the people that created us and we're the AI we're the AI I'm just kidding well maybe I don't know agnostic who knows uh, yeah atheism I think is naive and then also I think thinking you know what happens is not naive so much as it is delusional I might say I hope I'm not offending anybody I, I understand why people believe in that but I think there's for me it's just there's nothing points to any of any religions being real and I think the answer to the questions like where did life start is everything infinite does it go on forever what's beyond nothing and how can it start all, all those questions I think the fact that we can't comprehend it and the fact that everything happens for a reason means that answers to those questions must exist but they must be so com complex and brilliant and out of this world literally that they would be so mind-blowing if we can't even comprehend them that they would be akin to something like a religion maybe or the the idea that there's something more beyond this life to me is plausible who would make it so it's nothing you know if we were if there's intent to us being here why would they make it nothing after that's cruel or is it because we wouldn't we won't know any better anyways right sleeping is kind of like dying every night it's kind of like time travel you fall asleep and then before you know it you're up and wouldn't it suck if you experienced sleep in real time and it's just like eight boring hours that would be a terrible design flaw i'm glad it is the way it is it's like time travel it's like dying every night i don't know whatever one's funnier i think the dying one is funnier okay <sighs> anyways i'm not gonna use my father's death as an excuse for there not being uploads and stuff of anything i like to sink into creative pursuits when i want to take my mind off things but uh it's mostly just been like I've been so turned off of psych psychedelics you know I think I did way too many last year <laughs> and this year I guess early this year no not really I've, yeah the channel's been on hiatus for a long time time flies Jesus Christ and it's like the faster time goes it's like it never seems to slow down you know it's never like I go through a phase of where time goes by quickly it's like it goes by quicker and quicker <laughs> And once you're, you've established a threshold for how quick it goes, you can't go back down. And so I feel like COVID accelerated my perception of time so much. And it's like, no more COVID, but the time still goes by quick. What the hell, man? And then also I've just been staring at charts all day long, every day. I'm still really obsessed with crypto and actually that's been a really good thing for keeping my mind busy because it requires a lot of focus and attention and it's something I can get lost in and then music I've been playing a lot of guitar as well I got a new amp you guys probably seen it I don't know it's a Yamaha THR32 it's totally wireless I can plug it in and the amp is wireless and the guitar is wireless because I plug in a little receiver and there's no latency it's all real time 
it sounds great and uh yeah i don't know whatever my dad died it sucks but if there's like a silver lining to this he had a lot of jackets that fit me no i'm just kidding <laughs> Uh, the last time we spoke, I can't remember the last time we spoke, um, just because it would have been like <clears throat> a, t a typical interaction, but we definitely weren't fighting and he was in a good mood the days leading up to his death. And, uh, I just, it would have sucked if like we, we had like a rare fight that we had, which was very rare, but they were blowouts when we did have them we'd say terrible shit to each other we'd always apologize like the same day uh, I'm just glad that that didn't happen you know and I remember about six months ago this is very unlike me I guess I have trouble doing these sort of things with family I don't know why but uh, this one day I felt like I should say something to my dad about how awesome of a father he is. And so I just went into his room, I knocked on his door and opened his door and I just said, Dad, I just wanna let you know that you're an awesome father and I love you. And my dad loves hearing shit like that. He's like the opposite of me when it comes to like expressing that sort of thing to family. You know, like, <laughs> he's the opposite, so. And I guess maybe sort of I said that too because he has been having some like health issues and stuff like that. Again, nothing that would indicate he's gonna die soon. So it's still very shocking, but at the same time I knew that it's possible his health is in decline and I just wanted him to know that I, I appreciated him as a father very much. And he like totally succeeded in that regard. Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that and uh, I'll see you guys very soon. I'm gonna upload stuff soon and then I'm gonna stream soon. I would tonight, but it's already, holy fuck, it's, I don't even wanna say what time it is. <laughs> well, I could soon, it'll be fucking normal daytime again soon. Is it really that time? It's fucking, wow, okay. Wow, my sleep schedule is ridiculous. Anyway, I think that's it. I'll stream tonight. I mean, it's official. I'm saying it here. I'm saying it now. I'm streaming tonight, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Whatever happens, happens. But I'm not going anywhere or anything like that. I would like to have this channel always here, like my entire life. Maybe I'll go through periods where I don't upload as much, but I know that I'm a very creative person and I always... It's good to have an outlet for that, to express it to people, to show it to people. I mean... It's not necessary to be creative. It could just be like something you enjoy yourself. But for me, it's satisfying to get to share it. Like at the very least for music and then for other things too. And I got a lot of ideas too. Like I've been putting together like a comedy routine sort of loosely. And I just, anytime I have a funny thought, I like write it down in this word document and it's getting pretty long. I got a lot of stuff on there and some of it's pretty funny some of it's not that funny but I put it all down regardless and I don't know I think I think it would do well if I am considering maybe one day I got to build up my like confidence for it and I got to practice my routine but I figure I got like 20 minutes at least which is way more time than I'll ever get as a beginner but that's good I'll have like an excess of material and uh I want to go to an open mic one night, I think, and I want to record it and put it on the channel for better or worse, maybe a bomb, but maybe not, maybe it'll be funny, I don't know, some of the open micers I hear are just so, whoa, that scared me, I accidentally fired my vape, uh, some of the open micers I hear are just so terrible, I figure like, I figure I could get some laughs. And uh, who knows, maybe it'll go really well. 
that would be funny. It would be funny if I bombed too, so it'll be funny regardless for you guys. So that's an idea. I'll probably practice it here on the channel first. And then also... I don't want to talk about video release dates now because I've done that so many times in the past and I, I don't want to let you guys down again. I keep breaking, not promises, but like I keep not meeting deadlines or like... I tell you guys I'm gonna do this video and it'll be out soon and then it's not. And then, yeah, I say I'm gonna go back to regular uploads soon and then I don't. And I totally mean it at the time, but it just... I don't follow through, so no more deadlines or dates, but <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm going to get back to it soon, actually this time for real. I mean, yeah, for sure. I got to get my shit together, basically, and I probably got to find a roommate. If anyone lives in the Vancouver area and you want to live in White Rock and cheap rent under a thousand dollars, uh, and you get your own room, obviously. Well, we're not going to sleep in the same room. Bunk beds. But I'm just throwing that out there. I might be looking for a roommate soon. Maybe not. We'll see if I can swing it, but it's pretty expensive for one person. So... Uh, I don't want to move, though. I really don't want to move. And, uh... Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Peace out, guys. I love you so much. Thank you for all the support. Um, in the meantime, uh, thank you for there being no mass exodus. Like, he's he's not coming back, guys. Let's unsubscribe. That never happened. Uh, to the new viewers that trickled in, thank you for joining. I appreciate it very much. Usually this channel is much more exciting. In fact, usually it's the best channel on YouTube. It's very fun. We have so much fun on this channel during live streams. And I hope to meet you all. And uh, I appreciate you all still. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck. I went through the whole thing without screwing. That's not true. That's not true. I screwed up a few times, didn't I? I don't know. See ya. See ya soon. Peace. My dad, my dad just fucking ran into my father. Hey, Pops. Hey, Dad. Hi, Or what do you, you want to do? Well, I don't know. I was, I was going to go for a walk or whatever, get some exercise a bit, and then stuff off. Have a beer or something. I have some drinks here. Hey? Okay. Want a drink? What is a drink? Yeah. Well, I got some of these iced teas. Sure, I'll do with you. Sure, okay. That's so funny. Dad, you want to say hi to the stream, or sure. you want to be on camera, or yeah? Well, I don't know. No pressure. This is my dad. Hey everybody. Oh, this phone's ringing. Hey Brody, how you doing? And I was talking to my brother. <laughs> Isn't that weird? He just called me to see what I was doing. Oh, and yeah, he was I right there. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that weird? That's not the weirdest coincidence that happened like that. One time, him and I were... Uh, there's a mall oh, near where we live. And we were... <laughs> And we were uh -oh. both at that same mall. We didn't oh, know. So I went into the washroom, and he opened the washroom door from the other side yeah. as soon as I yeah, went to I open it and push it. And like I missed the door. Like he, op we opened the door at the oh, same I time in the washroom. Wait, what? What, Dad? Like what the fuck? It's so confusing. You know, one time we ran into each other at the mall, and we opened the bathroom door at the same time. We did. Yeah, from other from the opposite end. Oh, did we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fucking weird. Yeah. Like, why does anyone want it any hotter than this? Like, fuck that. Yeah, no, it's nice, eh? What is that? So, what's that song? Your ringer. Oh, it's off, uh... Kill Bill. Oh, yeah, it's from Kill Bill. Yeah, Obi-Wan's, uh, yeah, that's right. It's been your ringtone for years.
Yeah, I thought Brody was on the uh, uh, phone because he saw me on here. I saw I on here. Oh, yeah. That's so weird, though. You just called me. You were right there, eh? Yeah. And you didn't know where I was? Uh, no, no. I, 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 went, I think you went uptown or you went downtown. To... Oh, yeah. I was thinking of going downtown, but then I'm like, fuck it. I was just I was going to do a downtown stream, but then I thought I'd just come here. It's just yeah, nice. It's beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to go for a walk, but you want to sleep? I'm, I was going to head back soon anyways. I was just going to do a quick stream. Oh, okay, well, maybe, oh, maybe. Also, I got some, uh, cocoa leaf. What? That cocaine leaf. What did I know of? What is it also? Uh, from the cocoa leaf cafe downtown. There's a shop downtown that sells it. Oh, really? Do you want to try some? Do you you just put it in your, your mouth. It's like a cup of coffee, kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah. You feel it, though. Here, I'll pour some in your hand. And you just stuff it in your lip. And it, it kind of gets everywhere, but just try to ball it together and keep it stuffed in your lip, and you don't move it around like chewing the back or, or anything. Don't swallow it; spit it out when you're done. Oh really? Yeah. Or you but, can swallow it. It's not. It's not a big deal or anything. Okay, just put that on my lip. A little, a little more. Yeah, and you'll feel it probably. I feel it. And, and or, or, or just it's grab your, take your fingers and pinch it together. Yeah. And then just sort of stuff it. In behind your lip, in front of your teeth, oh, okay. as best you can. <laughs> and, and some will get out and mm -hmm. end up in your mouth. You can swallow that or whatever. But it's sort of messy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Chewing coca leaves with my dad at the beach. <laughs> as one does. As one does. Have you done psychedelics? Who? You. What do you mean? Someone's asking if you've done psychedelics. I've done boatloads. <laughs> He's done boatloads. <laughs> I got coca leaf on my yeah, teeth? You do. Uh, thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah you do. Uh, <laughs> my dad does too. <laughs> bottom teeth, mostly. Uh, I don't want you like that. <clears throat> <laughs> my dad. <laughs> we'll see you guys. See you, dad. Yeah, and we'll see you later. We'll see you. <laughs> Good running into you.